I, th I think there is a huge disconnect for students, for, for most Americans, I think, between where their food comes from, what was put in their food, how is their food grown, what, uh, and you know, how are the animals treated that they're eating. So what exactly is a food co-op and where do they come from? The year is 1975 and the Ypsilanti Food Co-op emerges from a grassroots movement, meaning that EMU students and the Ypsilanti locals volunteer their time and services towards a mutual benefit, which is to take control of the food made available to the community and to do it outside of any political or corporate structures. What this does is place importance on healthy, affordable goods instead of profit margins like that of big business grocery stores. This means that the Ypsilanti Food Co-op is owned and operated by its customers. It starts out as a buying club, purchasing goods and then distributing them at various local churches. Eventually, it transitions into a storefront and then ultimately residing at its current location of 312 North River Street in the historic Millworks building of Depot Town. Because of our location in Depot Town, we're one of the only grocery stores in this vicinity, so we try to be sort of the corner grocery store and be accessible to everyone. And one of the best parts for, for students is that we're close enough to walk. Um, there really aren't any other grocery stores in the area, um, full service. Here since August 2011, and I work in the bakery exclusively now. Um, so why our bakery is so special is because it's completely solar powered. Our oven is wood fire, um, which means that we build a fire in it every other day, and we use the residual heat from those bake days for the next day. The sweets ladies, we come in and then we build off or we bake off of that same fire. So I think that's really cool. It's all. Uh, renewable energy that we make all of our goods. Uh, the best part about our store is the bulk section. Um, besides the bakery, of course. is the bulk section because you are able to get as much as you need. So if you only need like a cup of rice, you get it pretty cheap then. Um, we also have members that volunteer here from time to time and you can actually increase your discount according to the number of hours that you work so that's sometimes we have students come in and do that you can cut down on your grocery bill quite a bit doing that. Um, there are a lot of uh, Eastern students uh, who work here also who volunteer here and um, we do a lot uh, we go to the farmers market and there's a lot of community within the farmers market yeah. growing hope and I think if people are are not um, as active, it's because they're not aware that there is such a great community here. 